Pieces. And I'm back with the second half of my Vintage and Sarah Coventry uh, jewelry box, um, jewelry lot that I purchased from Sally of Vintage Discoveries. And yesterday, or the last time when I was going through the vintage pieces, I found a, a couple of Sarah pieces that I had misidentified as not being Sarah. So I'm going to start with these. So this chain and pendant were together. And actually, this pendant is uh, an item sold on its own. Sorry, it goes. Sorry, yeah, it goes this way. This silver tone with uh, turquoise colored cabochon uh, pendant is an uh, interesting shape. And it's called Saturn. And this is a piece that was uh, debuted in 1976. So, uh, considering how old it is, uh, it's an excellent, excellent shape, and it's marked Sarah here on the back. The chain it was on is not the best chain for it um, because of the way the li links are. It has to be actually right exactly in the center of the chain to hang properly. Uh, this chain was also a separate item from Sarah Coventry. Here's the, um, the tag, and the reason I missed it at first um, was because the tag was a different shape than I was used to seeing. I don't think, I, oh, there we go, Sarah Cove. Um, focus back again. And uh, this chain is called the Fashion Accent Chain, and it first debuted in 1977. So they're um, two separate pieces uh, in that lot. Um, this pin was the reason I grabbed the lot right away. Um, this is a pin I've been trying to purchase at a reasonable price um, for a while. Um, there are a lot out there, but they seem to want more money. Um, I, I didn't pay much for the earrings here in Ontario, and I wanted, um, you know, to pay a reasonable price. There's the Sarah marking there. This pin is called Silvery Sunburst. Um, sometimes it's misidentified as pinwheel. Um, this one's an excellent shape, especially um, considering that these uh, pearls sometimes are damaged. So it's in beautiful shape. And I now have a complete set of earrings and pin. Another item that was in the lot from Sally is this beautiful pin. It's um, almost yeah, three inches. Uh, silver tone and gold tone. This is part of the part of Nature's Choice set and I already have a full set of this plus I now have a second full set so I'll be looking to sell this and the matching earrings. Um, beautiful pin. Um, Sally does a great job of, of putting your earrings together on uh, little cards. Um, these earrings from Sarah Coventry are um, part of the Whispering Leaf uh, set. There's Whispering Leaves one and Whispering Leaves a second one and then there's Whispering Leaf set. This set uh, also contains a pin, a large pin with a pearl. It's uh, gold tone and I already have the complete set so this is another duplicate I received but I'm again I'll probably look to uh, resell that. There were these beautiful Sarah Coventry earrings. Again, clip-on. These are part of the Sultana set. And I already have the full Sultana set. Um, Sultana's from 1959, um, when it was first debuted. I love it. It's uh, modern, uh, blingy look. Uh, very wearable even today. Um, and I have all the pieces in the set, so again, that's a duplicate for me, but not disappointed. I forgot to mention that this Whispering Leaf is um, first debuted in 1967, and the Fashion, um, sorry, the Nature's Choice, oh, I forgot to write down the year. But I'll have to look it up. Sorry about that. Um, not too many duplicates, um, so that wasn't a duplicate. So if one, two, three... I guess only four duplicates. So this set of earrings is, um, again, clip earrings. 
they're just uh, very light they don't want to stay on the so here's how they go they have a, a pseudo greenish rhinestone and a pseudo opal in the top here these are from Contessa this is um, a set which I have most of the pieces are were made in Canada so they're marked made in Canada um, this is from 1974 and you need to go like that to be there we go 19 and again these are um, a duplicate set for me now this is very interesting it took me a while to find it it's not very long chain and it, but yet it has such a, a modern design that I thought it was you know 70s um, 80s I figured I was going to have some trouble um, locating it but I did eventually find it in one of the catalogs and then did find it in my book this is called La Belle um, L-A it's French and then space B-E-L-L-E -E. and it's from 1976 so um, uh, even though it's a very modern looking design it's quite old um, and there's also a set of earrings and a ring that go with the set um, so this is would be a new set for me to collect so I haven't seen it before at all um, so I'll have to keep my eyes out it might be collectible I don't know this pin it's quite lovely this is uh, just a plastic uh, sort of gray toned cabochon um, very uh, um, shiny I don't know if I can come in any uh, better focus there we go um, and this pin is uh, called Granada from 1974 and Granada also has a necklace with uh, stones this color plus a chain with stations with stones this color um, the two necklaces came together as a set so again a new set for me um, this is probably the oldest set in the um, let me go this way sorry the oldest set um, that came from Sally um, these are the earrings for Chantilly lace and Chantilly lace is from 1961 um, there's a bracelet and a necklace that go with it and they are they're made of these uh, rectangles or sorry, squares on their side um, they might be this way actually for the bracelet anyway these are the main element of the the necklace and the uh, bracelet I'm not sure if this is supposed to be this silvery color for or if it's gold that's been worn off um, I the picture is small enough in the book that I can't tell so I'm gonna have to be talking to some other people who have who might have this set to get that clarified um, they don't feel um, like they've been repainted um, and as I said it's very difficult for me to tell so again that's the start of a new set for me um, This is another brooch from Sarah Coventry. Sorry, there we go. Sarah Cub on the back. This is Madame Butterfly in silver tone uh, from 1971. There also are small earrings to go with this. And then there is a gold tone set, a uh, gold tone uh, pin and earrings you can also collect. this is unusual I was surprised by the uh, how would we say by the name this is called Peking and uh, I'm surprised uh, maybe just because of sort of a pseudo jade piece in the center it didn't really have an oriental look for me but uh, quite interesting from 1972 and there are earrings that go with this that are quite lovely they have the um, this little drop which momentarily the name of it has uh, escaped me and this is quite a large piece it's more than three inches long so it's probably four uh, this is called fashion in motion Let's see if I can get it to focus a bit better yeah and this is from 1967 
and there are earrings which match it with have these dangles on them. This is a lightweight bracelet, um, very lightweight metal in gold tone. Uh, it's part of the headliner set and it's the bracelet. There's, there's a necklace and there are pierced earrings and um, clip earrings that go with this set. The uh, clip earrings, you would probably just say, okay, that's just set up gold tone balls. I don't know how Sarah Coventry earrings are marked. Um, if they're marked on the post, it would be very difficult to see. Um, so I bet the earring, the pierced earrings are overlooked quite a bit. The um, uh, clip earrings has, they have Sarah Coventry on this part of the clip, so they would be easier to find, I think. This is a huge, another huge piece, more than three inches. Um, it has earrings that match. This is called Satin Flame. So this would be uh, quite dramatic uh, on an outfit by itself. An excellent shape, a good working pin. These earrings, oh, sorry, Satin Flame is from 1960. And these earrings, I hunted and hunted and hunted. Let's see if I got them. Yeah, I got them. This is so this is the way they go. And I hunted and hunted and hunted for them. Uh, if you've heard of the pineapple bracelet, there's a bracelet and the pieces on it look like a pineapple with some, look more like a pineapple than anything from this does. And it's called Simply Elegant. It's from 1972. Um, so there's a bracelet, which doesn't come up very often, but which I have seen recently. And then there's also a necklace that goes with these. I would have thought this was an excellent design on its own for a pin, but the necklace and earrings are quite different. They're more of a vertical design with these uh, rays going straight up and down. Um, so again, uh, uh, simply elegant. And then this last one, again, um, there's another piece uh, that's sort of like a sunburst with a stone in the center that's multi-layered. Um, so again, I kind of had to hunt for this one. This is from 1960, and it's called Fascination. And there are the um, small earrings that go with it. And then there are earrings that are the same size or almost the same size as the actual pin. So this one, it's very difficult to see the marking. It's just right in here under the pin. It's on the pin bar. Um, and it just says Sarakov right there. So for a, a combined vintage and Sarah Coventry lot, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 Sarah Coventry pieces. Um, I was thrilled with this lot. I got to complete a set, um, start uh, a couple of, uh, more than a couple, start um, some very interesting sets like Chantilly Lace and Granada and Headliner and Peking um, and get a couple of unusual pieces, just a, a chain and a pendant. So I've hoped you've uh, uh, enjoyed this wrap up of my vintage jewelry purchase lot from Sally at Vintage Discoverings and join me again soon for another video from Pat Hood at Passions and Pastimes where jewelry really is a passion. Thank you.